Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna compare these three Samsung smartphones. Now first, we have the budget phone, the Galaxy A03. Next, we have the mid-range phone, the Galaxy A53 5G, and the flagship phone, the Galaxy S22. Now I already know which phone is the best, but the point of this video is to compare the different price points and different features. Now, I'm not going to go over every single specification, instead I'm only going to mention the most noticeable differences between models. Now, I want to be including the prices of these phones since they tend to fluctuate based on sales and promotional offers and each country may have a different price. So if you want to see the price of these phones, then just go to the Samsung website so you can view it in your own currency. Now let's compare the boxes. So the Galaxy A03 and A53 5G have these white boxes with the image of the phone on the front. And the Galaxy S22 has this black box with this really nice design that says S22. Now in my opinion, the S22's box looks more professional since it's black and has a very minimalistic design. But the A03 and A53 5G's boxes just look more fun and more colorful. Taking a look at the boxes from the side, you can see that the A03 has the largest box which is very surprising since it's also the cheapest phone. Now inside the box of the A03, you get a charging cable and charging adapter. Now with the A53 5G and S22, you only get a charging cable and no adapter. So it's very interesting that the A03 actually comes with more accessories in the box. Now onto the phones, starting off with the materials and design. The A03 is made of plastic and has this plastic back and sides. Now it's just one piece of plastic as you can see that wraps around to the sides. The A53 5G also has a plastic back and plastic sides but this time they're two separate pieces. So we have this matte plastic back and glossy plastic sides. Now the S22 has a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus back and it's also matte glass. So if you take a look at this it doesn't get too smudged up. Now on the sides we have armor aluminum and these sides are glossy. For the front, the A03 has a glass display, the A53 5G has a Gorilla Glass 5 display and the S22 has a Gorilla Glass Victus Plus display. I'm gonna quickly read the display specs. The A03 has a PLS LCD display at 6.5 inches, the A53 5G has a Super AMOLED 120Hz display at 6.5 inches and the S22 has a dynamic AMOLED 2X display 120Hz at 6.1 inches. Now if we take a look at the numbers, the A03 and A53 have a 6.5 inch display so the same screen size while the S22 is smaller at 6.1 inches. You may be wondering, why is the A03 larger than the A53 5G if they have the same screen size? Well, if we take a look at the body of the two phones, the A03 has larger bezels. So again, the A03 is here on the left. If you take a look at the bottom, we have larger bezels compared to the A53 5G. And on the top, the A53 5G on the right has a smaller camera hole which is a circle compared to the A03 over here on the left. Now, since the A53 5G and S22 have AMOLED displays, they also feature an always-on display. So if I turn off all these phones, you'll see that the A53 5G and S22 have always-on displays thanks to the AMOLED technology, but the A03 doesn't have that since it's an LCD display. Now what have I noticed after using these devices? Well, all of the displays are good enough for basic use such as social media, communication, and using the on-screen keyboard. But the displays of the A53 5G and the S22 are more vibrant, brighter, and smoother due to the 120Hz refresh rate and AMOLED technology. Now, if you don't know what an AMOLED display is, it basically offers better viewing angles, better contrast, better brightness, and better dark mode since the individual pixels can switch off, which is also what allows the always-on display. So if you get a black wallpaper for example, then the black wallpapers on the A53 5G and the S22 are truly black since the individual pixels are turned off to make them black compared to the A03 where the pixels will just appear sort of grayish. And I'll show you an example so you can get what I mean. 
Okay, so open the settings app and turn the dark mode on so you can easily see the difference. Now again, the A03 is the one with the LCD display. Now the A53 5G and S22 are the ones with the AMOLED displays. So these two on the right. I'm going to switch off the lights and take a look at that. The A03 over here on the left is sort of grayish and if you look at the back, we have this sort of grayish background compared to the A53 5G and S22 where the black background is truly black. So I'm not really sure how well it picks up on camera. Let me just zoom in a bit and try to adjust it. There you go. So hopefully you can see the difference. But it also depends on what screen you're viewing this video on. If you look at the S22, it's actually overexposed on the camera since the display is really bright. If I place my hand over here, you'll even see it glowing just like that. Compared to the A03 over here, it doesn't glow as much. On to the performance. Now I'm going to explain the difference between each device while running a Geekbench 5 test. Oh, and also, if you're wondering why the A03 isn't running the Geekbench 5 test, well, that's because the test fails every time and I can't actually get it to run on this phone, so it's probably too slow for that test. But anyway, the A03 is good enough for basic use like social media and communication such as the messaging and call app, but the A53 5G and the S22 are way faster in terms of performance. So I'm going to show you the Geekbench 5 score from the A53 and the S22 so you can see the difference for yourself. So if you want to get into the real world performance, then you can check out my reviews of each of these phones and I'll leave them linked in the description. Wow, check this out. There's a huge difference in the results. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can pause the video and see for yourself. 746 versus 1,206 on single core and 1,912 versus 3,080 on multi-core. Anyway, I'm going to give my quick opinion on each phone. Now I think that the A03 is good enough for people who want an entry level phone for communication and basic use. Now the A53 5G is good enough for average consumers who don't really do any gaming or graphic intensive tasks. So more on basic use and running your apps like Google Keep or Microsoft OneDrive. So all sorts of productivity apps will work fine as long as they aren't graphic intensive. And the S22 is very all around device. So if you're a vlogger, gamer, video editor, photographer, or basically it can handle most use cases due to the faster chip compared to all of these other phones. For the sensors, the A03 only has an accelerometer and proximity sensor. Now the A53 5G and the S22 have an accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, barometer, and proximity sensor. Now these two have more sensors than the A03. And what does this mean in the real world? Well, in terms of productivity, they have better sensors for running more complex applications and games. So for example, I have the Sky Portal app, which is a star chart. And if I tap on compass mode, I can tilt my phone around and it will show me exactly what I'm pointing it at. So what would happen if I tilt my phone to the right, the map moves to the right, and same with the left. Now, in terms of the sensors for security and biometrics, the A03 has none. So let's just move it to the side. Now the A53 5G and S22 both have fingerprint sensors in the display, as you can see by this icon over here, but they're actually different technologies. So the A53 5G has an optical sensor using light and the S22 has an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor using sound. Now what this means is that the A53 5G has a slower sensor and the S22 has a faster sensor. Now let me just show you so it's easier to explain. Let's get both phones and click on the sensors at the same time. So the S22 is faster and the A53 5G didn't even recognize my fingerprint. So I just lifted my thumb off after the S22 unlocked. Let's do it again. I'm going to leave my thumb on this time. There we go. And you can see that the S22 is faster. One more time. Just like that. I won't compare the battery life on each phone since it's going to be pretty hard because this phone drains faster but it can do more complex apps and has more capability. Now the A03 drains slower but it can't really do as much compared to this phone so like it's going to be really hard to compare the battery life and 
it depends on the performance of the phone instead we're gonna go ahead and compare the charging now the a03 doesn't have any fast charging so it's just your typical regular phone charging and has this micro usb port so the a53 5g and s22 both have fast charging at 25 watts and both have usb type c ports but the s22 has a few differences so if we take a look at the s22 it has the same charging as the A53 5G, but in addition to that, it also has wireless charging, fast wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge another device using this phone. Now, I have a wireless charger over here, so I can demonstrate the wireless charging. Just like that, the phone's charging. But if I get my A53 5G, or the AO3, for example, they won't charge since they don't have wireless charging. For the last part of the video, grab the cameras. Now, I'm not gonna read all the specs like the megapixels and things like that. I'm just gonna explain what each camera setup has. So on the A03, we have a main sensor and depth sensor. The A53 5G, we have a main sensor, ultra wide, macro, and depth sensor. And on the S22, we have a main sensor, ultra wide, and telephoto. That's not in any particular order. I'm not really sure which camera is which on each device since they're pretty hard to tell. I'm gonna quickly go through the camera app on each phone one by one since I have like two hands and there are three phones. So let's start off with the A03. Let's open the camera app over here. So this is our main angle and we can digitally zoom in up to 10x. Wait a minute. As you can see, the phone's very laggy. We can zoom up to 10x, just like that. Now let's switch over to the A53 5G. On this phone, we have the main 1x sensor. We can zoom out at 0.5x and also digitally zoom in up to 10x. But this time it's clearer 10x zoom due to the higher megapixel count. On the S22, we have the main 1x and a wider ultra wide at 0.6x. Then we can zoom in using the telephoto at 3x and digitally zoom in up to 30x. And it's also very clear. So if you want to see the camera samples from each phone, then I have my YouTube videos, you can check them out. Hopefully you found that video useful and saw some of the major differences between the price points of each device. And again, if you want to check out the prices, then just open the Samsung website on your browser so you can see them in your own currency and the current offers in your country. Now, if you want to see some more in-depth comparisons on a specific feature, like the cameras for example, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe for more and also for the channel. So, thanks for watching.